Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, fake news, transgender rights, feminists, and lesbians. <clears throat> Scripture references out of Genesis 1, verse 27, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And we'll take that a step further with Jesus' comments in Matthew 9, verses 4 and 5. He answered, Have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female and said, Therefore a man shall leave his father, and his mother, and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. And you know, the point of those two verses, or three verses, from Genesis 1 and Matthew 19, is just to point out this is where we are relative to God's Word. And the following commentary is from the setting that is the Heritage Foundation. And yes, this occurred at a home of conservative political thought, the Heritage Foundation is one of the nation's most influential institutions for conservative thinking. So Ronald Reagan, Margaret Thatcher, Rush Limbaugh, you get the idea. Um, now, when I read this, I had to reread this a couple of times. Um, so for those of you who are not well-versed in these issues like myself, this can be a little bit confusing. Um, the, the Heritage Foundation hosted a panel. Kara uh, Dansky was invited by the Heritage Foundation to speak. And she is, Ms. Dansky, is a self-proclaimed feminist lawyer and spokeswoman for Lib Women's Liberation Front, or WOLF. She is not a lesbian. In her comments, Ms. Dansky's concern is transgender activism is anti-woman and anti-lesbian. And she's calling on straight men to stand up to transgender activism. Okay, now other members of this panel included Hasky, Hassie, excuse me, doing my best here, Horvath. And Horvath, originally a man, identified as a woman and had surgery. Horvath had an interesting observation. And I quote Hasse Horvath, It's really shocking how many men on the internet are defending the whole trans thing. Straight men are all about the trans. And you have to wonder what the heck's going on. Now this comes from Hasse or Hasky, who originally a man identified as a woman and had surgery. And that's this person's observation. Another panel member was Julia Beck. Julia is a lesbian and former member of the Baltimore Mayor's LGBTQ Commission. Miss Beck encountered the semantic police in a very harsh way. She was booted from the Baltimore LGBTQ Commission and her violation, inappropriate use of pronouns. And I quote, I got kicked off of the Baltimore's May off of the Baltimore Mayor's LGBTQ Commission as the only lesbian simply for stating biological facts. I was found guilty of, quote, violence, my crime, using male pronouns to talk about a convicted male rapist who identifies as transgender and prefers female pronouns. Now, she's referring to a guy who biologically is a male but feels most comfortable being referred to as she, and she managed to talk her slash his way into a female prison and was uh, convicted of raping female inmates, as I understand the issue. Now, I got a link for this article. If you want to get down to the nitty gritty of all that, you can. Uh, Miss Beck also commented, the man who led my inquisition also identifies as transgender. He is the president of the Baltimore Transgender Alliance and claims to be a lesbian. <laughs> so she was booted off this LGBTQ commission by a man who identified as a lesbian. And, uh, you know, apparently Ms. Beck didn't have the chops, even though she's a lesbian, which stands for L in the LGBTQ commission. 
Um, now, if you want to go, if you guys want to listen to some of this stuff, um, this is from pjmedia.com. This is from uh, the assistant editor, Tyler O'Neill. And there are multiple clips from Mr. O'Neill at his Twitter feed regarding this conference. Now, I got one as a, as a sample. And these are, you know, two to three minute cuts from each of the panelists referring to a variety of different things. And this is in this particular one that's being shown here. Julia Beck shares her story of being booted from the Baltimore LGBTQ Alliance by a male who, quote, identifies as a lesbian. So um, this is not one big happy family, as they would like for you to believe, the LGBTQ group. Um, we got some splinter going on here. And, and she also, Mrs. Beck, made the, the other comment that um, this gets right down to the nuts and bolts of it. The meeting made one thing crystal clear. Inclusivity means all voices are welcome except, except women's, except lesbians. Everything is about the T now, entirely eclipsing the L-G-N-B. The T is diametrically opposed to the first three letters in the acronym and especially to the L. So as she sees it, you know, uh, lesbians, they're endangered um, by these trans men who are pretending, or I'm sorry, who are proclaiming to be lesbians. So where's the Q? What happened to LGBTQ? But I don't know if that's politically incorrect now. Uh, I don't keep up on these things. But anyhow, if you guys want to read this article, click on this link. It's it's a lengthy read, but uh, trying to keep straight who's what, who's associated with which group. And this is, well, it's a challenge. And it just shows how far we've come from what was originally intended once upon a time. Uh, he made them male and female. And they're supposed to get together to form a family. But Luke eleven seventeen, I'm going to close with this one. But he, Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and a divided household falls. So looks like LGBTQ group is in trouble, divided against itself. We know how that ends. Um, at any rate, with all this going on, Come, Lord Jesus. So if you're interested in these sorts of topics, um, this one's being under the category of culture. You can click on culture. You can see some things in and around culture. Um, yeah, I don't know where else I put this one. This You can also find this um, under the, the, the category of fake news. There's not very much going on. I say fake news for very... Very interesting things. I think this qualifies. Um, and um, <laughs> if you're interested in following the blog, click on the blue bar over here in the far right-hand column. Type in your email address, and you'll receive a notification every time we put out a new post. We try to put out stuff, you know, give or take five times a week. Uh, I got some stuff coming out on creation and atheism later this week. I'm probably going to have some stuff coming out from... Uh, with Christine later this weekend. Also, we'll be continuing the series on predestination with free will and how those two are compatible. Uh, problem is we overvalue our will and our choices relative to God. Yes, we have free choice. Yes, we have free will. But in the big scheme of things, we're just not that big of a deal relative to God. So, at any anyhow, appreciate you guys following along. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.